Good morning everybody, it's Graham once again from Unearthed and because of the lockdown situation um, we're not going to get out detecting any time soon so it gives me the chance to clean up some of my recent finds and show you guys how I do it and with the tools that I've got so there you've got some wax which preserves and protects the artifacts now you can actually use this paraffin based wax which I can get in between my fingers and apply to coins and artifacts uh, or you can actually use dry candle wax if it's clear clear candle not colored uh, you can use clear clear candle wax which is you can warm up gently uh, and apply that to your coins and artifacts and of course I've got uh, my trusted dry medium uh, strength brush and also I've nicked this off Melanie these are for eating corn on the cob with, of course, you stick one end into the corn and the other end into the corn. Uh, but these are really good for getting mud out of grooves and things. Now what I've done with this particular item, I'll put it on there so you can see it better, is I've just took the edge off the sharpness of the end of the pick, so it doesn't damage or scratch anything too bad. But because it's wood, uh, you're not going to have any problems damaging anything anyway, but I just always take the edge off. The end of the pick so the item we've got here is a, actually a viking buckle from the 10th century now if i get this item here which is a longer pick a longer skewer i should say this is a, a, an animal's head there's its iron mouth as you can see but you can also see clearly that there's mud in and around the design so we need to get that out and then we'll apply the wax now the reason why I put it off the wood off this wooden base or this wooden table that I've got here is because if I put it on um, some tablecloth sorry not tablecloth some kitchen cloth I can actually see what I'm taking off I can see the mud coming off there and see how much is left over at the end so keep watching everybody and um, hopefully I'll show you how I get this artifact looking a little bit better than what it is and the mud off Okay, keep watching and we'll be back with me cleaning this as best I can. Right, everybody, we're back again and uh, Melanie is now doing the main videoing for me. So if she horns in, you can see I'm using this or her corn on the cob pick, which she won't be very happy about. But, uh, you know, we all have our crosses to bear, don't we? So as I'm working around all these little indentations of design where the mud's hiding slowly we can see the mud lifting off just nice and gently like I said I took the edge off the off the off the sharpness of the pick or the skewer or whatever you want to call it but as you can see there's a lot of mud coming off there Turn it round slightly so you guys can see that. So what I always do, I loosen the mud off so it's not stuck to any of the intricate design and then I use the brush to get the majority of it off. But we've still got quite a bit on there. So let's just gently and carefully work our way around that. I'll move this again and this is another animal's head that's its nose that's its eye that's its mouth they're looking at it upside down but the top one is the right way so that's it that's the animal's eye that's its snout and there's its mouth so it's got an animal head design at both ends of the of the buckle which is quite uh, interesting it's not often we find 10th century items anymore not like we used to so they're all welcome right so as you can see when we lift the buckle out there and it leaves on the cloth the mud that was stuck to it which is quite uh, quite a lot to be fair we're just gonna have another little go around here what's not uh, advised is if you don't clean it all off and you leave bits of mud on as i've as i'm proving now if you put the wax on then you're trapping the mud underneath the wax which is important 
to get as much off as you can. So now, gentle brush. And as you can see, well, I can see that, so you guys can see that. There's more and more designs showing up now. The artifact is starting to look a lot better and a lot more desirable to the eye. So there we have almost a mud-free artifact. Now the back end of it, we'll have a look at that. I did take some of the mud off earlier and there's a little bit on there. So Melanie's going to have to be patient with me here, which is probably nine times out of ten or every day by one. Just a little bit of mud on there is coming off. So we'll just give that a bit of a rub as well. To make sure there's nothing left on that side i'm pretty confident that there isn't right the next bit is the wax now like i said earlier in the video this is like a paraffin based wax you can work it with your fingers it's quite tough stuff actually it needs to be warmed up a little bit more than it is but i'm now working that between my fingers and applying to the artifact this will not only protect it and preserve it but it'll also make it look better now then there you go nice and preserved look now there is more around the edges I can do but it doesn't half make a difference when you put that stuff on now that's preserved it won't get any bronze disease and it's stable now while we're on it's interesting and I think it's important for us to say that a lot of people do find occasionally Roman coins this is no exception this is a sesterce from last week as you can see it's seen better days no cleaning preserving or anything will make that coin look any better so i'm going to see if i can just brush off the surface crud you can just see the outline of a bust but the back side's pretty much worn so the patina and the details been stripped from this coin probably down to fertilizers on the fields i guess it's in really poor condition, which is unusual for the area that we detect on. Usually the cisterces come up in good condition, so that's telling me something stripped this. Some chemical or something has, has took the edge right off this coin. So the mud's off, the dust is off it. It's in pretty poor condition. Is it worth preserving? You can have a look. You can just see the outline of a head there. That's the, that's the head looking that way. But as I said earlier, it's worth stabilising the coin. But we ain't going to get much else out of it, I don't think. We might get a little taste of what it looked like. Uh, I don't even think we're going to get the Emperor on it. So I've just rubbed the, the wax in gently. It looks a little bit better. I'll do both sides, but uh, again, you can just see the outlines of the bust of the Emperor, but it's pretty much shot at. But it's worth doing just to preserve it and not let it go any further than what it actually has. Um, I'll do the edges, around the edges of this, with the wax, because they are prone to, to rot down and flake around the edges. So that's one area of detail that we've got to be careful of. Um, if I'd have found that 25, 30 years ago, I'd have been chuffed now. It's a shame because it's just a ruined Roman coin, but at least we're making it more stable than what it was. Right, I hope that's helped. Um, thanks for watching and, and leave some comments where you can. Uh, as you can see, the lockdown is bringing us all inside and uh, there's no better thing to do than clean up your finds, I think. So I hope that's been of help to you all. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you all soon. Bye for now.